Hey everyone, welcome back to another video. Yesterday, Atmosphere version 0.16 came out. I was wondering whether or not I should make a video. Today, Sid Patch came out, so I decided why not. Anyway, let's get into it. First of all, if you're using a previous version of Atmosphere, I would suggest you delete the Atmosphere folder and anything else associated with Atmosphere. So these two folders, simply just delete those. If you have teams, cheats, or whatever, all of those are going to be, de be deleted, so keep that in mind. If you want to back those up, simply back up the content folder. It should contain your theme that was applied, your cheats, so on and so forth. But I would not suggest backing up the, cheat, uh, the theme because if it's broken, you will have problem booting your system, so keep that in mind. I'm just gonna delete these two. Then navigate to the Atmosphere GitHub. As you can see, this is a new release. This one, I think, um, is a revision, um, part two for 16, um, 0 0.16, because the first version that came out, it had some issue with the Emu MMC. It was moving slow. I did not test that version out, but this one seems to be working somewhat okay. As you can see, where, where was it? Um, yeah. As you can see, the Mariko hardware support is being worked on. It's not stable, so I guess that's why they did not release it in this version 16. They said you have to wait on 17 in order to get full support for our Mariko system. So keep that in mind. Alright, so I'm just going to hit download. I'm not going to mess with the experimental version. It should work fine, but I'm not doing that right now in this video. I personally use it, I haven't had any issues with it, just not doing it for this video. And then you go to this link, it will be in the video description. Okay, if you're using Hecate on your system, download this version that supports Hecate. So that's patch. This patch works with the Hecate um, bootloader. If you're just using the Fuse Primer to boot your system, download this one. So if you're using Fuse, that, if you're using Hecate, that. Okay, so let me copy this over to the SD card. Okay, that should be that. I guess I'm moving too fast because I forgot to download the Fuse primary. This is needed to boot the custom firmware. Okay, copy it over to the root of my SD card. If you're using a jig, um, or whatever device, simply copy this base payload over, otherwise you won't be able to boot the custom firmware. Okay, now that's done. Okay, didn't I download the patches? I guess not. Hmm. Okay, I guess I'll use Fuse Primary and just skip packet for now. Simply just copy this over. And that's it. So now that's done. Simply eject the SD card. And let's go over to the switch. Okay, now that we are back on the switch, you're going to simply inject your payload, whether you're using a jig, a hard modded system, whatever. Um, so I'm simply just gonna go here because I'm using a patch system. Simple clean up. And I can boot um, Atmosphere directly from here. You can do it via Hackett, but I'm just gonna boot it directly from here. Just gonna speed this up, not to waste too much of my time. Okay, there we go. Okay. Unfortunately, I can't show you the system version because it's asking for an update. But just to show you, okay. I don't think any of these applications can show you what version of I must be I'm running. But okay, as you can see, I'm still running custom firmware. Whatever. Here you go. That's how you go about updating. 
but before you do any of this i would highly suggest that you guys wait until a uh, full version is released and not install this pre-release version because this version has some issues so i don't recommend it also the reason why i booted it into my sysnad and not my emunad or emmc is because it seems to be broken on this version of atmosphere so that's the only way i can boot into custom firmware i have to disable my emu mmc in order to boot don't worry i'm not gonna get banned as long as you're not doing any hacking pirating whatever on your sysnad everything should be fine so i'm good if needs be i can simply restore one of my backup i'm just doing this so i can do a video anyway guys that's it for this video hope it helped and thanks for watching